Hello, people of the internet. This is Joven, the Joven one. My bad, I keep on forgetting. Bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 commentary and gameplay. And today I have a very interesting story. So I was driving home today from school. At first, I was pretty pissed off because. My gym teacher didn't open up the doors to the locker room until like a minute until the bell rings and I always rush out of the school so I can beat all the traffic um, and usually, well, when I, when I don't have to drive my sister home, she didn't have to be driven home today. So I was rushing out of the school but then, no, he didn't open the do locker room doors. We I had to wait outside for like five hours so then we had like a minute to change so I get changed in like about a minute, 30 seconds so I leave the locker room. Well, like, like, 30 seconds or, like, I guess a, a minute has already passed from the time that the bell rang signaling the end of school to me getting out of the locker room. When normally, I'd be in my car by then, so I'm pissed. And then I go walk to my car, and, you know, I'm like, well, that's not that bad. So I, I go to my car, and that this is really not an important part of the story. I'm just showing how I'm pissed already. So basically, I, I get out of there just fine. Um, so, I mean, it really wasn't that bad. So then, I just... Do my regular drive home, listen to music, you know, you know. I mean, you guys are probably expecting to get in a crash. You know, it's really not that interesting of a story if you guys don't want to hear it, just leave. So, I know none of you guys contested me, so here we keep we keep on going to the story, okay? So, I am a terrible storyteller, if you have not already noticed. Um, I should not be a YouTube commentator. Maybe that's not why I'm not popular. Because I freaking can't stay on one freaking subject! Okay, so I'm driving home. I'm like almost home. I'm behind this guy. Um, just a uh, regular sedan. I don't, I don't know what kind of car it is. I'm not a, I'm not a car freak individual. So, you know, I'm just going. I'm going the speed limit, like five miles an hour, five miles an hour over. Um, you know, casually, and uh, I'm about to turn right into my neighborhood. But then this retard puts on his left turn signal, and I'm just like, oh come on, I don't want to, I don't want to wait for you. You better turn fast. So, I mean, whatever. So I slow down. I stop. I had to stop. He had to stop because he had to wait. And then I saw him reach over his right shoulder and I saw him I, I was like dude is that that guy just give me a thumbs up or something I'm like wait I'm an idiot that guy just gave me the finger I'm like what why would he do such a thing so then he turns left I'm like what the hell is up with that I didn't do nothing wrong I wasn't tailgating him I was doing I was going through the scenario in my head as I was driving in my neighborhood and then I kept on going to my house and I just kept on thinking, like, why would that guy flip me off? And I'm just, I was just thinking the entire time. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a commentary about it. And I, I, I decided I was thinking about the entire car ride home because that's when I figure out my commentary topics. On my car ride home, I was thinking about what should I talk about today. Um, and then if I don't think about anything, I'm just like, well, I'm busy. I don't, I, I can't do a commentary today. <laughs> no, but I'm actually busy some days. So, anyways, I'm really happy because I remember that my dad is gone, he's flying right now, so I'm just like, yes, I get to park the van in the garage, which means tomorrow in the morning the van won't be cold as hell, so I'm pulling up in the garage, and I'm just like, I still don't know, I'm, I'm still thinking about why would that guy flip me off, so then I park the car, I turn off the car, go down to pick up my phone because it was playing music, and I'm, the music stops before I even touch it, and I see, oh, I'm getting a call. My friend Alec, I wonder what this is all about. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? And then he's just like, dude, I just saw you, dog. You were behind me. I'm like, oh, my God, you little bastard. And then, yep, so basically that's what happened. And uh, basically the commentary topic is meaningless now. So we were just talking, and we are just like, what the hell is up with that, dude? I was freaking out. I didn't know who the what I did. And then he's just like, nah, man, you were good, dog. And then I was just, like, really confused. And um, so, I mean, well, actually, I was unconfused because it made a lot more sense then. And then I felt good about myself, and then I got out of the car, and then I decided to make another video, a vlog, of my train park setup, which will be uploaded either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, whenever I feel like it. Um, whenever you guys feel like it, comment down below if you actually care. So, yeah, basically that was the entire story. Very anticlimactic, and, uh, pretty much a pointless story. But he told me to tell me, he told me to do the commentary anyways, um, because he wanted to see it. And he'll probably comment down below, like, Talk to you later. Bye.